all the you world questions, all the Amboss questions, all of Diva Gilio's questions. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Buff Man. And I want to give you my top resources to crush your surgery shelf. I recently took my surgery shelf in my fourth year because coronavirus pushed all <sighs> messed my schedule all up. Two thousand years later. So let me give you the keys to do well on your surgery shelf. Oh my God! Wow! My favorite resource that I use, and I definitely recommend this. I got a lot of mixed reviews when I was like reading the Reddit posts and stuff like that on what the top sources would be. But from my experience, these were the sources that allowed me to gain the most from my surgery rotation. Surgery rotations can be long, so being able to study effectively and efficiently is one of the best things you can do to do well. So my top resource is going to be UWorld. UWorld is a application that we all know as medical students that we use throughout our medical career in order to test ourselves and to learn from. And if you use UWorld effectively, you can do well on your shelf, but you won't do well enough to score into that honors range like 90 plus. So I supplemented UWorld with the additional QBank. UWorld had about 400 to 450 questions, but my newer favorite resource that I'm getting to love even more than UWorld is Amboss. You guys don't know what Amboss is. Amboss is like a German company that started like medical knowledge QBank and medical knowledge library for students. And I'm telling you, it's become my favorite all-in-one QBank. This is not a sponsored video, but I use Amboss and you were as my one-two punch for all my shells and I honor all my shells with that one-two punch between you world and Amboss. The thing I like about Amboss is it has a full library of knowledge opposed to you world just has the explanation at the end of the question as you all know. Amboss has a whole library of knowledge that you can just use your entire medical career and they're constantly updating their knowledge bank and that QBank's constantly, I love it so, so much. So you were had about 400 questions and Balls had about 900 questions. So all together, I did 1300 courses just from QBank's. But that's not what pushed me over the edge when it came to scoring honors on my surgery show. People might recommend using Pastanas. In my experience, Pastanas wasn't very captivating. It was very vague, very non-detailed. Most of the stuff you will be asked on surgeries is in Pastanas, but I just wasn't captivated to keep reading Pastanas because it just was boring. I'm gonna be honest with you, it just was boring. But the resource that I used for my major reference book was D. Virgilio Surgery. D. Virgilio Surgery was a difference between me scoring high pass to honors in uh, surgery shelf. If you guys never seen or heard about this book, this is a book written by Christian D. Virgilio in a company and it literally takes you through every single system every single uh, acute management takes you through every single type of situation you might see on the exam no doubt i use this on my surgery my surgery rotation and literally i would read through d virgilio's prior to going to the or my attendant would see me ask me questions and it was in d virgilio's word for word how to approach that patient how to work up that patient complications of the surgery indications for the surgery it's literally in D. Virgilio. So what D. Virgilio does, it gives you a case, it gives you differential diagnosis, and it asks you, it gives you the most likely diagnosis. Once they give you the most di likely diagnosis, they walk you through the entire path of physiology, they walk you through the surgical indications, they um, walk you through uh, complications with the surgery, long-term and short-term complications. It literally is so, 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 so goaded. <laughs> So I would recommend this book as the reference book of choice for surgery. So you were Amboss. I'm leaning more towards Amboss in these days and times. D. Virgilio's is a must go to. And the good thing about D. Virgilio's is once you go through it, at the end of each unit, they have these really high, high, high yield questions. So I did all the you world questions. I did all of the Amboss questions. And I did all of D. Virgilio's questions. By the time I walked into Prometric on test day, I was prepared. Literally ran through the exam, did very, very, very well, scored 90 plus on the exam, and I was very confident walking in. So guys, take this information like I'm giving you with a grain of salt. Like I said, well, it works for me, but it might not work for you. So as I was going through deeper Julius, what I would normally do is make cards on Anki and make those cards and stuff I've never seen before, common complications, very hot, high yield topics. I made Anki cards for it. Reviewed every use review Anki cards every day and let you try to get as much volume in for active recall. So my favorite 
top three resources for surgery, you world and boss and Christian D. Virgilio's surgery. Take these, put them in your back pocket and kill surgery show.